Hollywood actor Steven Dorff, who's best known for his roles in Blade and True Detective, is now coming out and trashing Hollywood completely. Not only Hollywood, but Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, and he's basically throwing shade at the entire industry, and we're going to be taking a look at that in this video here, because he has a lot of really good stuff to say. Ricky Gervais level type of stuff, and it is excellent, excellent stuff. Um, a lot of people know about what he had to say about Black Widow at this point, and about Scarlett Johansson and we're going to look at those comments as well but he also went on even further after that and a lot of people don't know this to talk about Hollywood and talk about the industry and talk about how much of a trash industry it has become so we're going to look at his comments with that but before we do I do have a sponsor for this video so I do want to thank the coldest water for sponsoring this video this is honestly like the best water bottle of all time as you can hear I still have ice cubes in here from the ice that i put in yesterday it continues to keep your drinks cold for up to 36 hours and i mean ice cold if you put ice cubes in it like i do and uh i'm someone who is looking to better my life and better my my health lifestyle and this water bottle has really helped a lot with that because it keeps my drink cold for a very long time it keeps the water tasting delicious and i never have to worry about the drink getting cold i don't have to worry about about smelly odors or anything like that that's one of the great things about this bottle as well and uh it is just a fantastic water bottle so if you are looking to invest in a in a bottle that is going to last you a very long time and is going to be well worth every penny that you put into it then make sure you check out the coldest water the links are in the description of this video with that being said let's go ahead and get into this and see what steven dwarf has to say about the oscars about hollywood about marvel it is really good stuff. So True Detective star Steven Dorff trashes the Oscars, Marvel movies. Hollywood is one big cluster F of content now. Really good stuff. So actor Steven Dorff has trashed the Academy Awards and Disney's Marvel superhero movies. Um, so he was obviously in Blade and somewhere in HBO's True Detective. Uh, so he said, I still hunt out the good shit because I don't want to be in Black Widow. Dorff told the newspaper. This was with an interview with uh the brit with britain's independent so um he he right right out the bat he's already slamming black widow you guys know that i'm not very excited for black widow right like i don't know like i just don't think that the movie is going to be that good it's a movie that we should have gotten years and years ago i've been wanting a black widow movie ever since the first avengers movie and it took them this long to give it to us it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. They absolutely had the opportunities to make a Black Widow movie for almost a decade now. And now we're finally getting one. And Captain Marvel had to be the first one. The one who broke the glass ceiling. Oh my goodness. Brie Larson is just so brave. Captain Marvel. Oh. It's just ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous that Black Widow didn't get a movie for this. And now... We know what happens to Black Widow in Endgame, right? Like, we know what happens to that character. And now people just don't care. They just don't care about Black Widow. And I don't think this movie is going to do as well as Marvel was hoping it was going to do. Maybe they should have given the two, this movie to us in place of Captain Marvel when it came out. Like, they, they absolutely could have done that. And it would have been, would have been well-deserved. It wouldn't have felt forced. It wouldn't have, hopefully, had been as awful and cringy as Captain Marvel was. But with all of that being said, I don't think that Black Widow is going to be that great of a movie. I just don't. I think that Marvel has lost a lot of their way. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they are getting more woke. That they are focused more on identity politics and pushing certain agendas. That is what Marvel is becoming more focused on. And because of that, the quality is going to degrade. This is what happens every single time one of these studios focuses on the wrong things, focuses on pushing a narrative, pushing an agenda. When they start to do that, then the quality degrades. It happens every single time. And people are interested in that. People want stories. People want good characters. So Dorf continued and said, it looks like garbage to me. I have to say I agree. It looks like a bad video game. I'm embarrassed for those people. I'm embarrassed for Scarlet. I'm sure she got paid five, seven million bucks, but I'm embarrassed for her. I don't want to be in those movies. I really don't. He added, I'll find that kid director who's going to be the next Stanley Kubrick and I'll act for him instead. Dwarf also blasted this year's disastrous Oscar ceremony, which it was disastrous. The numbers were atrocious. 
and that's because people are sick and tired and done with the academy awards as well they basically basically it's just one big worship service for hollywood in a lot of ways and it gives them an opportunity to really just uh you know jerk each other off and you know talk about how superior they are how they are the moral compass for for the country and for the culture and orange man bad and all this stuff and it's all stuff that people don't want to listen to when they're watching the oscars it's why the numbers continue to go down which featured woke lectures from hollywood celebrities the abc broadcast was the lowest rated in modern oscars history this year's Oscars was the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen, said Stephen Dorff, and he is correct. He continued by ripping the entire industry. My business is becoming a big game show. You have actors that don't have a clue what they're doing. You have filmmakers that don't have a clue what they're doing. We're all in these little boxes on these streamers, TV, film. It's all one big cluster F of content now, and he is correct. Nobody in Hollywood knows what the hell they're supposed to be doing. All they know is that they, they have to appease the woke gods. That is the most important important thing on their minds right now for the majority of them and it shouldn't be get back to the good days of hollywood when you actually focused on giving us good stories and good characters instead of focusing on all of these neo-marxist communist anti-american type of agendas it is ridiculous and it's bad for the country Dorf has continually worked with offbeat filmmakers including bob raffleson sofia coppola and and john waters uh so he d i didn't i don't like playing things too safe the actor said to me hollywood's always too safe yes it is always too safe hollywood never wants to take risks they never want to try to do something new which is why whenever they they talk about how brave they are hollywood's just so brave by by giving all these roles to these minorities pretty much every single time they do that they're just feeding off of already established characters and franchises think about every pretty much every single example you can think of like ghostbusters right like they release and an all-female cast for ghostbusters oh we're so brave no you aren't you're just trying to feed off of the success of an already established franchise and then pretending like you guys are just doing the most noble thing imaginable you guys aren't you know like there's ghostbusters there's terminator there's I mean, you could go on and on with all these different examples of them doing this type of nonsense. When I've needed money, sure, I've done a couple of weeks on a movie that I didn't want to see or didn't want to do. See, I like money too because I like to buy things and I like art and real estate, of course. So anyway, so there we go. There's what Stephen Dorff has to say about Hollywood and the Academy Awards and Black Widow and Scarlett Johansson and everything else. And he is 100% correct. With that being said, let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you check out The Coldest Water. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you later.